There's one rule for the parents in being able to come to a coffee house and chill. You talk about it yourselves and anything else but the children. It's nice. You look really pretty. Thank you. Elizabeth. <laughs> I'd like to see a movie. Too soon. Are we only allowed out one every six months? <laughs> the babysitter's not gonna want to babysit all the time. I was overwhelmed. And I didn't know how Doug and Brainy was gonna react. And I didn't want them to be mad at me. So you guys ready? I suppose we better get back, right? Yeah. Tea time with the kids and stuff. Little did we know while our parents were out that Lizzie was making the babysitter's life hell. <laughs> hey, what's going on? When we came home, I immediately felt like I shouldn't have went out. Like I had failed in my job as a parent and given that job to somebody else to take care of when I should have been the one doing that. <laughs> this is why we don't go out and leave the kids with the babysitter. Explain what's happening so that we can deal with this situation. Oh, my word. I just felt so, so sorry for Deanna and what she'd gone through. She's pinched Andrew, she has bit him, she's bit me, she has bit Sarah. I'm sure Lizzie thought that she got away with her behaviour. Fat chance, I wasn't letting her off the hook. That is absolutely appealing. You are on the naughty chair. Stay because, calm. Because you behaved naughty while we had a babysitter. Brandy was very concerned with the thought that maybe Lizzie was regressing and behaving worse. What she's done is she's seen Deanna and she's thought, oh, I'm going to try now and see if Deanna's going to take this or whether she's going to put me on the naughty chair. Jo definitely put my mind at ease. She let me know that, no, this is just a new situation. And Lizzie was testing if mom would follow through because it happened with the babysitter. Say that you're sorry. Sorry. For a woman who never even implemented discipline in her house, I'm really impressed that Brandy has got the confidence now to follow through with the naughty chair. She's doing fantastic. You fought Deanna and you didn't listen to her. You need to tell her you're sorry for that. For your behavior. For your behavior. I accept your apology, but now no more misbehavior like that I because. Speak for I. I will not. I will not have any more behavior like that. So can I have a big hug because JoJo's going home now? I wish Jojo could stay forever. Remember, no hurting one another. Okay, you play nicely together. We kiss and hug our sisters. Exactly, and you need to do that with your brother and everybody else. Bye oh, bye, sweetie. For two young parents who didn't know where to turn and didn't know what to do, have learned a lot. Keep communicating, get out as a couple, but at the same time, I want to see you spending that quality time with your family. Let me give you a big hug, Brandy. Yes, then you take care, OK? Thank you so You're... much. You are welcome. I owe Jo everything. She has changed our life. Take care. Take care. You are welcome. I was really worried about whether or not her techniques were going to work on, a, on our family in particular, but they really have, and, and I'm really grateful for that. Take care. Bye-bye.